to do the same and break rank with the Labor leadership. The Labor government lacks this courage and should recognise the state of Palestine. They should expel the Israeli ambassador. Yes. Our government should impose immediate sanctions on Israel. Every time Israel massacres civilians, every time Israel burns children alive, they look around the world to countries like Australia for consequences, yet none come, and so the horror just continues. I resigned from the ALP last week, I've been there for many years, and was a cost bearer. Uh, to the recognition of having payment and discussing treatment she's faced, it's so incumbent with focus and its leadership. Uh, as Olivia mentioned, Palestine and the recognition of the Palestinian state in particular is ALP policy. ALP policy is determined by the National Conference, which comprises delegates who are elected from its affiliated unions and rank and file members. It's a painstaking and difficult process at the best of times. So the parliamentary members of the Labour Party just so rankly and disgustingly refute uh, that policy in its actions binding of its members to vote against the Greek motion to recognise Palestine in its suspension and pressing out of the Labour Party of Senator Payman. Uh, the Labour Party betrays its basic values and its democratically elected uh, delegates and members. Sanctions now! Sanctions now! Sanctions!